Peace everyone, we back in Fort Greene, Brooklyn to try out Farmer in the Deli. They're known to have some of the most tastiest, most packed heroes. Stay tuned. This is what we call Lauro's, man. Lauro's? This right here is a staple right here, man. All right. Staple of Brooklyn. Yeah, this is Fort Greene right here. I ain't here. gonna get it wrong this time. This is a staple. <laughs> this, this is basically one of the, uh, the first neighborhoods coming into Brooklyn. Come Cali, come Cali, best stop. It ain't yeah, yeah, yeah. He's We're checking me right now. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. You, one, <laughs> you are definitely at the right spot. What you get? Get your sandwich. I got a honey glazed turkey with lettuce and mayonnaise on the hero, cut in four. You better come here. Let you know. us know. And this is Fort Green. This is definitely Fort Green. Let Mama know. Deli. Check me out on my Lashes by Sashi. I know. Profile. Lashes popping right yes, now. Yes, you already know. <laughs> Farmer in the deli. I heard they got some legendary sandwiches, the chopped tuna. My first time here, man. This is already packed. They got a whole line out here, and uh, should be worth it. It should be worth it. Here with uh, Cash so, <laughs> tell me where to follow you, man. You can follow me on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. Yeah. And what we got going on here, man? I'm about to get me a uh, honey glazed turkey and cheese, chopped up. Yes, sir. So that's that. That must be. This, I've never heard anything getting chopped up here, man. So that's. Yeah, that's, this is the only spot that do it here. Yep. You get tuna as well, right? That's it's amazing. You gotta so. tune in. <laughs> All right. What's up, bro? Good, man. Let me get uh, let me get two chopped hoagie. I mean, heroes. Two of them. I want the the tuna and the turkey. You want oil vinegar or something, Baba? Yup. I eat everything, man. <laughs> Put it all. Okay, you want uh, pepper? Yes. What kind of cheese? You like cheese? Uh, pepper jack. With the tuna? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna check everything and then I come back. Farmer in the deli on the corner of Adelphi, I think that's how you say it, Adelphi and Myrtle Avenue. Gonna be proud of me too. Y'all y'all said that you know eating in the car is cringy. So look what I got. I got me a tray. Just in case I ain't get no splatter on here or nothing like that. Lots of love, Brooklyn love. You honestly you can make about another sandwich off of the the meat they give you here. So I don't even know which one this is. I think B. B stands for both. I hope so. Is it? Let's open this up. You're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn today. 
So this one's cut in three. This is the turkey one. I don't want to do the turkey one quite yet. You know what? Let's do the turkey one right now. Let's do the chopped turkey with beef bacon. Got the beef bacon right here. The chopped turkey. And whatever ingredients you want, they chop it right into it. So it pretty much gives it like a salad type, tuna salad type of consistency. Y'all see it? Let me show you again. Let me show you again. This is it. This is the chopped turkey with beef bacon. Let's go for it. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe. Fort Green, Brooklyn. Let's do it. Mmm. Oh, that beef bacon is smoky. The cheese is chopped into it as well. Everything is chopped into this. Mm. That's good. That's good. That's good. Whew. Nothing dry about this. If you don't want it chopped up, you don't need it chopped up. They actually just make your hero, which is thinly sliced deli meat too. But if you want the full experience of what people come here for, it's really good. What makes this so unique is like every bite has the same flavors. Now, you know how some sandwiches, you bite into it, it just might be like the bottom part, which is where the mayo and the meats and the cheeses, then the top part would be like the vegetables. This, in this here, in this case right here, it's in every bite. Really good bread. Oh shoot. Even though that's turkey, it kind of like reminds me of tuna. I'm so used to eating tuna with this consistency. So <clears throat> at first glance, it's gonna look like tuna. It may even taste a little bit like tuna, but I love the overall flavors that's packed into every bite. But that beef bacon with the turkey. Ultimate sandwich flavors right here. You know what I'm saying? Crazy amount left. Let's do the tuna next. The tuna combo. All right, so this is the tuna combo. Tuna combo is tuna and turkey. So tuna turkey combo chopped up. Lettuce, tomato, onions, sweet peppers and pickles, oil and vinegar, salt, pepper, oregano. If you're greedy like me, you can relate. It's a lot of food. A lot of food. It's like a looks like a sophisticated tuna sandwich. Just so y'all know, it is canned tuna too. So if y'all was wondering, oh, this smells good. This smells really good. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to look at this from another standpoint, from from where I come from. You know what I'm saying? Like we like what we like, right? Some people like what they like. Me, I'm a foodie. I like everything. I love history. I love culture. So I can appreciate. Um, I can appreciate what this is. Now, some people may not like their turkey chopped up. You know, they may not like everything looking like a tuna. What's up with the lighting now, B? For the exposure on this, but some people may not like. It all chopped up, so keep that in mind. So you know what I mean. I'm, I'm letting you know right now. Um, the hoagies look good, but if you want farmer in the deli chopped experience, this is a good. This is a good joint. Tuna turkey combo chopped farmer in the deli. That goes harder than the, the turkey with the bacon. I'm sorry, this, the tuna? Oh my God. Oh. This is so savory. I love the chewy bread. I love the bread, the, the, you know, it all starts with the bread. Look how much tuna, turkey is in here. All chopped up. It's probably one of the best tuna hoagies I ever, well tuna heroes I ever had tuna 
It needs a little bit of that turkey in there. That might be the key to the success. Mm. That's delicious. I mean, what can I say? What in the world's going on here? Really good, so uh, really good sandwich shop here. Farmer in the deli. I mean, Myrtle Ave just seems to be a uh, foodie strip. You know, what I mean, it's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, eateries here. So this is delicious. Farmer in the deli's been here since 1950. I'm am sitting right here, right next to him. It says we don't make sandwiches, we build them. Bars. We out of here. Oh, hold on for a second. I got this lady selling churros. Let's try this out. Two for three, four for six, seven for ten. Okay. Amen. Um, seven for ten? Do I have ten dollars? It's a question. Yeah, seven for ten? Thank you. No, I just want two. What was it? Two for three? Yeah. Come on, right here. Yeah, let me get two for three. Mm -hmm. No. You want four for five? Sure. Four for five, yeah. Sure. You make this yourself? Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. You always on here too, this trip? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You need cover? Okay. I'm okay, I'm about to eat it right now. Okay, thank you. Good, it's about to rain. Yes, rain. Hey, do you need an umbrella? Yeah, I'll check the umbrella, maybe. I have an umbrella, you want it? Yes. Yeah, I'll give you an umbrella, here. Look. Here. Thank you. You can have this umbrella, all right? Yeah, it's so big. Thank you so much. No problem, it's a really big umbrella. I see. So it'll keep you nice and, uh, nice and dry. I wish I had more cash. I'll buy this off of you. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Have fun. I miss. Let's try these churros too. Slam it. Sugary, crunchy. That nice filling in the middle. She gave it to me four for five. I wish I had cash. I only had a five dollar bill on her, so there she go right there, man. If y'all see her, I found her at Myrtle in Adelphi. If y'all see her with the umbrella, let her know that uh, you know, you go, you know, just just buy some off of her. This is delicious. Look, Tyrone Bigums right now. Hmm. 